absolutely just explosive. Supercell storms are supposed to be winding down at this point in the season, and I still have yet to document one this year. But it's June 30th and a conditional supercell threat is present. An outflow boundary draped from Missouri into Kansas in an extremely unstable environment should foster explosive severe thunderstorms with large hail and damaging winds. And at 5.45pm, the first raindrops fall to the earth. Here, we're attempting to position with an eastward view of the developing thunderstorm straight ahead. Today is June the 30th, 2023, out here tracking severe weather conditions. And I really hope some more storms form around me because it's too hot to bust, that's for sure. Here is a massive, just incredible, thunderstorm here. Things like Mount Everest, absolutely insane. Wow, that's a time lapse, absolutely beautiful. Storms like this one here can only form in the most volatile environments with intense heat, humidity near the surface. The updrafts of warm air in these storm cells can exceed 100 miles per hour and reach towering heights, creating enormous hail and sometimes tornadoes. Here, I can be seen setting up my time lapse in an attempt to capture the explosive updrafts of the storm. The initial updraft of this thunderstorm has reached a towering height of 61,000 feet, more than high enough to see stars in broad daylight. Man, this storm is just a monster. I mean, you can literally see it move. Like, you can literally see the anvil cloud billow out with the naked eye. I mean, this thing is just absolutely incredible. Absolutely just explosive. It's an atom bomb, like a volcanic eruption. I can't wait to see radar presentation out of this. Also, yeah, just east of Excelsior is going to have big time hail for sure. Probably golf ball, tennis ball hail, definitely. I don't think I've seen upward motion on a thunderstorm like this since um, since May 24th, 2020. And that storm produced, I believe, tennis ball, baseball size hail. So, yeah. Man, what a monster. Just look at this. Man, this is insane. When storms of this magnitude billow upwards, they slam into a layer of the atmosphere known as the tropopause, which divides the troposphere and the stratosphere. When they hit this layer, they form an enormous flat cloud known as an anvil cloud, but storms with extreme updrafts like this will punch above the anvil cloud into the stratosphere as an overshooting top which is blocked by the storm's anvil from this vantage point. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, 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 you gotta be kidding me. Just look at this. Oh my gosh, it's got knuckles on the updraft too. I haven't seen that since the As the storm matures, it begins to do something strange. As typical with storm setups with limited directional wind veering, the storm begins to split into two supercells, with the most visible storm from my vantage point being sent off to the north. As the north split moves left, I reposition for a better view of it to the horizon. I made it to my other spot and you can we can see this this manger split supercell. Here it is. Here's the main Huh? Happy birthday. Oh thank you, thank you. Um yeah, so here's the main storm here that developed and then there's next one splitting off. Massive hail on this thing, massive hail near Lawson. You can see it. Uh, it's not really focusing, but just a behemoth of a cell up here. That one is not going to hit here, um, but, but maybe some stuff happen later on. Big old lightning.
yeah, I mean, you can just looking into that, and that is just a behemoth. So, all right. Now that the original storm has regained strength, I reposition again to view both storms. I am set up trying to catch lightning from that major um, anticyclonic hailstorm up here. And then I got the next one over here, which has a hook echo now on it. it does have a hook. Beautiful back shear anvils and the modest on the front of the anvil, which is, you only get that with the, the uh, strongest of storms. So yeah. Big stuff out here. Of course, the lightning has totally stopped now, but I mean, I know that thing is producing lightning. The time flew by, gawking at the vastness of the main supercell thunderstorm to the east, but another king wants the throne. Out in Kansas is another giant storm which is producing destructive winds and four inch hailstones. It's time to move. Now we have a straight westward view of the horizon. I'm down at the church here, checking out. This, there's some storms kind of forming, like, um, yeah, west of here, some new ones in front of the one out near um, Topeka. We were throwing out lightning, but it stopped, so yeah. Oh, it did not stop. A storm to the southeast catches my eye. I notice that this storm is isolated and has a better chance of giving off a cloud-to-ground lightning bolt. If I can get to my original location in time, I may be able to capture a 4K lightning bolt before heading home. <laughs> The trend of my 4K camera missing lightning was beginning to get frustrating. Just give me one so I can get out of here. All right, I'll make that do. I will make that do. Thank you very much. The Kansas storm is drawn closer, and straight ahead lies winds up to 90 miles per hour. On my way home, let's snag a glimpse and see if we can see any more natural fireworks.